Hey, welcome back here to Carillon Historical Park in Dayton, Ohio. Today we are in the Carillon Brewing Company, part of the Carillon Park campus with uh, volunteer extraordinaire Tom here. How are you, sir? I'm doing just fine. Good, Thanks. good. So Tom is part of the brewing team here at uh, Carillon Park in the Brewing Company. And when you're not brewing, you are baking, baking. breads. That's right. Yes, That's right. yes. Um, all kinds of breads that we're making here in our bake oven and, and crackers that we have during the day. That's right. Um, but today, we want to talk to you about a special kind of bread, and, and it involves spent grain. So in the brewing process, once all of the, the, uh, the sparging, I guess, and uh, uh, right. the lottery... After, is, after we've used the grain to extract the sugars from it, we, we have a lot of grain left over, and we've tried to use the leftover grain in, in traditional ways. It was very traditional to, to add spent grain to a, uh, to a bread loaf, to give it some extra uh, fiber, some extra flavor, yeah. some extra texture. And in the 1850s, using everything up that, that you have. I mean, you spent a lot of time growing this, harvesting That's it, right. malting it. And, it's and everything but the squeak. <laughs> That's right. So, so uh, to, to, to bring this in and then amend it with other materials is what we're going to do today. That's right. And make a very, uh, a very special, very unique uh, spent grain bread. That's right. So, so how do we get started? I, so I, I brought we, you some spent, what spent have, grain. What we have here is some spent grain. Is, is, uh, grain hey, this is barley, right? And this is barley. Okay. And uh, we've actually added some honey and a little bit of salt to this because it's part of the bread dough recipe. And then we're going to make the dough from a, 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 a sourdough recipe. It's 100% whole wheat. And as a result of that, we use a two-part process for making the dough. This part here is a soaker, which just is, is whole wheat flour, water, and a little bit of salt. And it's been soaking since uh, probably yesterday afternoon sometime. Okay. And that helps, the, that helps the flour absorb the water. Whole wheat doesn't like to absorb quite as readily as, as white wheat does, or as, as the, the regular bread dough. Okay. So this gives it an opportunity to do that. And to the... To the uh, to the soaker. Now we're going to add our uh, our starter. This is a, a sourdough, traditional sourdough starter. It was um, actually it, it was originally made about 1988, and we've been feeding it ever since. Wow. Um, Sourdough is one of those wonderful gifts that just keeps on giving because all you have to do is feed it every once in a while. Feed it every once in a while. It, it, it goes, goes and goes and goes. So, so is the spent grain considered a type of sourdough bread? Well, the spent grain is an amendment to the sourdough bread recipe. Oh, okay. So, so it's it's basically because you do sourdough breads we, here as well. We do a regular straight yeah. sourdough as well, and that's a that one we do is a white sourdough. We get most of this out of here. So now we'll get to mix, and this is this is when everything I learned in kindergarten, or I needed to know in life, I learned in kindergarten really pays off because it's just kind of like making a mud pie. All right. We're going to mix this together. Sometimes I do demonstrations with the kids here, and they really think that's neat when I put my hands <laughs> out like that. And now that we've got these two pieces of the of the bread dough mixed fairly well, we can add the. If you could just pour the Pour the um, Absolutely. grain right on. And there. all of it? Yeah. Okay. Take it all. All right. Okay. I bet the kids love this. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do now, Brady, is we're gonna we're gonna add flour until we get the consistency we want. That's the nice thing about doing this by hand is I can always feel it, make sure that it's it's uh, moist enough and yet dry enough so that it it can go on to the next step. Yeah. So, and in kneading this, it it makes the uh, the dough more homogeneous. Everything is distributed evenly through the dough. Okay. So, Tom, we've we've done a little cleanup here, and this is allowed been allowed to uh, to rise. So, this dough has risen for about an hour and a half, and it's pretty much doubled in size. And you can tell it's a lot moister than it was because the the fermentation process is doing that. All right. A little bit of. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to form the loaves. Okay. Take about half a spoon and two, and you can help. Okay. All right. I can help. I'll, what do you want me to do? Okay. What we're going to do first is we're going to kind of just form a ball. So just, okay. just, just. Put it. And basically, what we're doing here is we're getting the gluten stretched out and all ready. And you can just lay it down on the on the ground uh, on the table. 
I'm not as practiced. That's all Yours right. looks better than mine. Is that okay? Wanna, yeah, it's fine. You just what you're trying to do is you can just kind of stretch it. Oh. There you go. How's that? See it? All right. All right. Now it's <laughs> now it's ready to form. It's on it's a kind of a weird thing. We gave it an hour and a half to ferment and grow in size. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it upside down, we're gonna beat it down and take oh. all that away. So. Okay. <laughs> And then, now that we've just destroyed the ball, we're going to make a ball again. Okay. Okay. So we'll just take take the take the dough and start folding it to the center. You don't have to be gentle with it. As a matter of fact, you want to press pretty firmly into the center on, as it goes. And then we'll just kind of squeeze it to 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 seal up the the joints. All right. Flip it up this way, and then we're going to kind of form it. Make it round, leave it on the, and there it is. That's that's ready. Fantastic. Now what we can do is we can use a bread form like this to form it. You can see this is a traditional bread form that would have been used in Germany. Oh, okay, okay. And, and uh, um, we would have, we would have floured this so that it doesn't stick. And then you put the you put the bread in here, and this allows it to proof in the basket. So, so it grows even more. It grows again because we're going to let it this. Okay. double in size one more time. So again, we'll take these and we'll cover them, and we hurry up and wait for another hour and a half. Very good. So now it's an hour and a half later, right. and the bread has has uh, risen and proofed. And there they are! And oh my there gosh! They are. And they've really grown. And they have. They're about again about twice the size that they were. Okay. And and now it's time to put them in the oven. You can't so, put them in, in these wood baskets, no, can you, Tom? No, no, no. We want to we want to <laughs> save those wood baskets. So what we'll do is we'll put them on a peel and then we use the peel to, to do it. So oh great! I, 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 I saw the peel back here. All right. Here's a peel, sir. And there you are, appealing. Appealing. Ah, an appealing peel. And look at that. It, it so it really formed right around. It has that it does. spiral it forms look in a it. Spiral look on it, like a basket look. How very unique. Now one of the things we will do to this, and I'm going to probably break up the basket look a little bit, is I'm going to cut an X in the top of the loaf. And what this does is, it's inevitable that as the bread rises in the oven, it's going to expand. The crust forms first, so. The inside wants to expand and it's going to break. Okay. So this way it breaks where we want it to break. Very good. And it also gives it a nice look. So now what we'll do is we'll take these to the oven and okay. put them in there to get them to All start right. baking. I'll grab the peel and we'll, let's head out. Sounds like a deal. Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to position the loaves in the, in the oven. Ah, all right. Do we leave it open or? Oh, you've got a door. Very good. Close it off, and just like every other step in baking, we'll wait. It'll take about a half an hour for it to bake. Half hour. What do you think that, uh, for somebody doing this at home, about 350, 400? I would say 400 to 400? 450. One of these days I'm going to stick my hand in the oven at home and find out what the equivalent, what the equivalent is. What the equivalent is? Because that's your thermometer that's here, is your arm. my thermometer here is yeah. I can put my hand in the oven and I know with my way yeah. I react. Right. Five seconds. If I can do five seconds, then I'm I'm good to go. You're good to go. Okay. All right. We'll we will wait. Okay. Okay. So we're a half hour so later, it's been Tom. About a half an hour. Okay. Well, let's let me remove the door here for you. Reach in Generally, there and grab what you that. You want to do is you want to check to see that it makes a nice sound. Yeah. Or it's about 200 degrees of internal temperature. Okay. Inside. Boy, that looks great. And here we are. There she is. Look at that. Well, Tom, thank you very much. That looks that looks great. Well, thank it, you. And a fun, simple, fairly simple recipe it's, for folks to is, try uh, at home. It I is guess. a fairly simple recipe, and if anybody's interested in a recipe for home size cooking, we can arrange to do that. Arrange to do that. But uh, uh, otherwise, somebody somewhere else in the country, go find your local brewery and, and, and right. see if they have any spent grain uh, for you. They to, will. They'll, they'll have plenty <laughs> of it, right? Well, it doesn't go to the hogs. Oh, no. might, might go to the bake, right. the bake house. That's so, right. well, well, fabulous. Well, thank you so much, and, and thank you for joining us here at Carolina Historical Park in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, happy baking. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.